Hi there, thanks for joining us for this short tutorial. Let's talk opposing viewpoints. In this video, you will learn how to find different topics in opposing viewpoints, how to review search results, sending information from the platform to your email or generating a citation, and how to find help online. But first, what is Opposing Viewpoints? Opposing Viewpoints is an online research platform that presents different viewpoints on different topics, including controversial ones. The OCCC library maintains access for students and faculty. Now that we know what it is, let's take a look at the platform. First, head to the library's website, www.occc.edu slash library. From the library homepage, locate the Start Your Search box and click on the Articles tab. From the list, select Opposing Viewpoints. On the Opposing Viewpoints homepage, you will find a search bar, an advanced search option, and current issues of interest. If you're not sure where to start, the Browse Issues links is a great tool to use. Let's check it out. There are many different topics you can review within Opposing Viewpoints. For this video, we will take a look at ownership of exotic animals. On the topic homepage, you can find an overview of the topic and access to quick links to things like featured viewpoints and academic journals. As we scroll down, we are able to see an expanded list of our resources like viewpoints and academic journals. From these lists, let's take a quick look at using viewpoints. While using viewpoints won't work for every assignment, they are great when researching both sides of a topic learning what people are saying about a particular topic, and who holds what viewpoint. From our featured viewpoint list, let's take a look at before you hit share on that cute animal photo. On the viewpoint page, we can see the author, where it was published from, and the type of document along with its link. We also have the ability to change the font size and access to a text-to-speech tool, and we can use these links to find related content and what's coming up within the viewpoint itself. We're also able to review article commentary. The article commentary allows us to think of these viewpoints with more context and provides questions for us to reflect on as we read the viewpoint below. You may already know your topic when you're headed to opposing viewpoints, so let's talk about how to search within the platform. You can do a general search right from the search bar on the home page, but for this video, we will use the advanced search option. From the advanced search page, we can enter in a search term, tell opposing viewpoints where we want it to search for our terms, and add limiters. When searching a database, we cannot enter a sentence into the search bar. Instead, we will need to use a search term. For this video, let's take a look at video games. Our search should look like this. Our term video games is in the top search bar. As we scroll down, we can add limiters that specified full text or peer-reviewed sources, set a date range for when the resource was published, select a content type, or even a document type. From now, we will keep it simple and just hit the search button. From the results page, you will find links to resources, additional filtering options, and suggested topics. Quite often, the first resource you will see are academic journals, which contain articles. Many of your instructors will be asking for this type of resource. Academic articles are something you will use throughout your college career and can be found on a number of platforms. They are great for finding out what experts have learned from their research and studies, and will often have stats and quotes you can cite in your assignments. Article pages look a lot like viewpoint pages. They have the listed author, publisher, document type, and length. Always check the document type to be sure you know whether you're looking at an article or a viewpoint. We also get the text size and text-to-speech tools. We can find related articles and related subjects, but instead of a commentary, we will see an abstract instead. This gives us a preview of what will be in the article before committing to reading the whole thing. Now that we know what viewpoints and articles look like, let's talk about how to send them to our inboxes and generate some citations. The first tool we will look at is the Cite tool located towards the top of your screen. With this tool, you can specify the style guide to match your assignment, export it to a cloud drive like Google, or start copying and pasting it into a works cited page by clicking the select button. 
Another option for generating a citation is the Send To option located next to the Cite tool we just used. You can send things to your OneDrive or Google Drive, but we recommend using the email link. Enter your OCCC email address, then select either Full Text, which will send you the article, or Citation. After that, click on Send and whatever information you chose will be headed towards your email inbox. Sometimes research can be daunting. Let's talk about how to get help online when you need it. By using the library's chat feature on the website, you can talk with a librarian in real time Monday through Friday. You can connect with us either on the library homepage or wherever you see this chat bubble. If you do not have time to sit and talk with us in real time, you can always use the email a librarian form. You can submit a ticket at any time. And once you do, you will receive a response directly into your email inbox. You will normally receive a response within one business day, though holidays and weekends can slow down the library's response time. You can find the form on the Contact Us page, or some of your professors even have it linked within your Moodle course. In this video, you learned how to find different topics within opposing viewpoints, how to review your search results, how to send information from the platform to your email or how to generate a citation, and how to find help online when you need it. Thanks for watching. Visit our website if you need more help.